Guy, it's been a couple of years since the RSC Rally of the Test. What about this one, 2021? So it's been a long time coming and we're just so glad that 75 crews have turned up uh, in this current situation to come and do an event which is probably the best classic car event in the calendar. You know, we've been really pleased with the way the Dutch, Germans and Swiss have made their way over. Well, it's been two years since the last Rally of the Test and it was my last event in the UK and I'm certainly happy to be back here as well. Uh, first Rally of the Test, but we are so excited because we didn't know uh, what's coming up and it's a lot more work to do up front um, compared to Iceland, compared to other rallies, but it will be fun and we're looking forward. Every test, every regularity has its, has its uh, difficulties in itself, but uh, it's just the sheer number of regularities and tests uh, that you have to prepare for that, that makes it a tough event. Whereas normally we're doing single day events, but just the endurance of it I think is going to be uh issue for us you know it's something we're not used to slight trepidation as usual uh, but really looking forward to it especially tonight the tests to start it up it's a long event there's a lot can go wrong it's very easy to make mistakes long days in the dark it's quite hard work it's intense the moment you get here because all you're doing is looking at maps trying to find any little tricks that you think might be there lots of pressure great to be out on this iconic british event which of course harks back to the early 50s i think it's the most complex of the ones that i've done it's full on you've got to be focused and if you concentrate and do as you're told by the navigator you can get a good result but it's just a a very dynamic uh, event to do. It must have been quite an adventure in the 50s and 60s. Yeah. I'm sure it's as challenging now as it was back then. Mr Woodcock has been involved in this event for, I think, is this his ninth or tenth one? And he knows how to make us scratch our heads and how to challenge us. The prologue is a, is a nice um, mixed surface regularity to start with, a couple of tests. Uh, then tomorrow we've got a wide range of surfaces from gravel, tarmac, concrete, some great tests at Airwood Hill Climb. Uh, Sunday morning is probably the sting in the tail. Um, I think there's nine tests and four regularities before lunch on the last day. Where do you reckon you could end up? Uh, hopefully at the finish. <laughs> <laughs> Start. It's the first time over here, so but it was very well. Loved it in the dark. It was a good route. Michael, so how did you get on tonight? Very well. My actually, my son did well. <laughs> I just followed his uh, where to drive. We're a bit rusty, and of course, first event straight in, in darkness, and uh, it was a bit daunting to start with. Till you get into the groove of it a little bit. Charles, uh, what's the problem? Uh, electrical. Lost all power coming out of that uh, regularity. It was tough. On the transport section before the final regularity, um, my brake pedal suddenly disappeared closer to the floor. I thought, uh-oh, what's happened here? But um, the, uh, the good mechanic guy is, uh, is on it, and it's, it's only the rear brake adjuster. So it's, it's hopefully not terminal. We should be all right. Great to see the event back on again. And as ever, you know, fantastic organisation by Hero and their team, really. Paul, day two of RSC Rally the Test, what's in store? I really haven't got a clue, Tony. <laughs> I, don't, I don't work that far in advance. I think we're going back to Brabham first thing, and after that, I don't know. But last night was really good. We made a good start, which makes a very change for us, because I think the last Rally the Test, we were 61st or 65th after the prologue. <laughs> so last night the action was uh, yeah, really tough, but uh, yeah, we made it. We had a little bit of uh, traffic, so, but we uh, could pass them uh, very well. 
So uh, yeah, now we're on in front, and that's good for the next days. So good, very competitive, pretty difficult, okay. pretty more difficult than expected, but still big fun, beautiful landscape, uh, yeah, beautiful England. Yes, it's a small colloquial place, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lots of fun this morning. Yes, yes, better day than yesterday, and daylight is a bit easier, isn't it? So. What happened yesterday? No, just four wrong slots in Bramham Park last night, so that was four minutes, but yeah. The most important thing is don't get your 70s tracksuit dirty. Oh, no, Sorry, 80s tracksuit. I would have done. Suit. I would have done. Yeah. Oh. Well, we were clubbing last night and we came straight here, so. <laughs> I'm a 1980s. Brilliant. You see? Look, yeah. it's very, very cold. <laughs> we started the event uh, with a cardboard from my father, and um, my um, my girlfriend stepped in and she's lent us her car now. So we're, come, we're out in her, yeah, her Volvo. How big was the damage to the engine? Uh, it's the size of a nice juicy tangerine I would say, but not the same colour. Everything's working well except for the trip, we've had no trip so far this morning so uh, it's been hot It's been hot wired just now so uh, <laughs> if everything doesn't go up in smoke we may have some luck this afternoon. Quite happy, no rain so far, it's, it's fucking nice, warm as toast that, isn't it? Yeah. That, that's probably the kiss of death. <laughs> We quite like it with the rain, because why not make it a little bit more difficult than it already is? Just an extra challenge. That's well in. Hello. 
first time for us here from Holland, but we really, really enjoy it. In the dark, it's a perfect stage. And what about all those different changes of surfaces? You had forest, you had the army territory, good? Yeah, this is perfect. This is very why we come here. Fast and frantic, I think, is the most of it. Uh, lots of junctions. Particularly the first bit was very difficult, but uh, really enjoyable. It was definitely tough, but so worth it. It's always worth it in there. Absolutely amazing fun. Wow. That was just like an adrenaline rush from start to finish, and I'm some amazed I can still speak, having <laughs> shouted constantly for I don't know how long, the last half an hour, uh, 40 minutes. Yeah, that was so much That's fun. Awesome. We got a little bit lost in Catterick, which was expected. Uh, hit a few no boards, but we got around and we got all the uh, all the controls, which is the main thing. And yeah, it's been a tough night. Been I'm ready for a drink. <laughs> Okay, on leg two. Uh, maybe the excitement of last night's had a little, a little dull moments in my brain every now and again this morning. But, but it's much better being inside the car, I think, today rather than outside. It's been really, really tough for all the marshals and, and everybody there. So their efforts are very, very appreciated today. We've had um, a couple of uh, regularities where we haven't quite got in on time uh, at the controls, but uh, the tests have gone really well. They, they were good, good surface. We just got to keep plodding away and pacing yourself, and hopefully we'll get you know get there in the end. It's been really good this morning. The um, the regs have been good, the tests have been good, so we've had a good morning now. Last night was a really hard, but this morning's gone really well. We're on obviously on Martin's home patch now. You know, he's a Cumbrian lad and he, he knows his way around, so hopefully we'll have a bit, bit of an advantage. I think some of them had the local advantage last night, so I hope we get a little bit of insight of what's going on in Cumbria. You've been out the saddle for a few years. Yes, and I'm uh, feeling it. Things going on. Just how rusty are you? <laughs> Looking at where we are in our positions, quite rusty. But you know, it's good atmosphere in the car, we're enjoying ourselves. Yeah, it's quite hard work. It really is tough this event. So, you know, without the practice beforehand, you feel it, you really do. Both look absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Blues Brothers, what inspired you to do this? Uh, 80s. It's an iconic 80s car, an iconic 80s movie, and it was uh, the only suits we had that fitted. <laughs> <laughs> what about this RSC rally, the test? I mean, this is a toughie, right? Yeah, yesterday was the toughest day in three years we've had, actually. Yeah. It's our that first way. rally, the test, obviously, but it was the toughest day out there, and silly mistakes, of course, and we were on loads of penalties but then everybody is you know the top crews are dropping eight nine minutes as well it's going to be a tough day today because 
we're we've sort of well first and second have pulled away we're in third now and third fourth and fifth are sort of vying for who's going to stick at third fourth and fifth so we'll see we're against Ian Tully and the Dutch crew so it'll be a tough competition today I think holding the lead this last day how are you going to play it I think we're, we've got enough in hand now just to can't back off too much but we've just got to get to the finish bit of a drama then with a coming this morning the a flat rear tyre. What? Got a nail in it. No. Yeah, so we've changed that. Sabotage. Sabotage, I reckon. I reckon. Yeah, Who's yeah, yeah. Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Mr. Tully's a bit close behind us, yeah. and I think he's he's the main threat at the moment. But uh, you know, we uh, we had a long. It was a really long day yesterday. It was tough. We got, came through it okay. Um, we dropped a little bit of time here and there, but we, you know, Nicky got all the controls, and we went the right way, and we didn't really wrong slot. So, you know. If we, if we can put another day together like that, then uh, you know, we have a chance of uh, hanging in there. Had a tough first day, baptism of fire really. Uh, we made a wrong slot and uh, it cost us dearly, so we've been trying to catch up since, but it's been good fun doing it. Well, two years ago you were on the podium, racing driver to rally driver. It looks like you're going to repeat that all over again. Hope so, yeah. Just got to keep pushing and see what happens. There's a, a, lot, a lot ahead of us. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just great fun. Very enjoyable. So far it's fantastic, great rally, through the woods, it's unbelievable, really good fun. What it does, to the adrenaline inside your body, and you just live on that for, uh, for a long time to come, it's just a wonderful event, it's a fabulous event, it's a full on event, an event that anybody that's in the rally scene just doesn't want to miss, it's a fabulous event. I'm really proud uh, that we did it and yeah, we didn't overall win but uh, yeah, on this position, on this cruise, uh, I'm really proud. Really enjoyed it. Again, second time with Alexander on a big event. Second time we've ever sat together and we couldn't have done any more because we're too young to win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, the car. Yeah. Too young to win, <laughs> not the crew. I love it, fantastic. You know, every time we go on a stage, it's something different, so I really enjoyed it. But two years ago, uh, you were on the podium as, as well. Yeah, and that I was, was. That was your first time, coming yeah. off the roundy, roundy time. Yeah, I know, stuff. I know, I know. It was with Martin, so uh, yeah, ne hopefully next time, top spot for us, if I get another chance. And when we came to this, we thought, you know, if we could maybe get in the top six, maybe we'll be really good, considering the number of, you know, the number of guys that are very experienced in this event, and also the, you know, in other events, and uh, 
To finish second is absolutely unbelievable. It's been a tough event and three days, three and a half days and you've got to keep going and keep going and uh, so it, it's a completely different challenge I would say. The rally of the Cess will always hold a special place in my heart because it's my first ever historic rally I did so no, the rally of the Cess is the, the best rally in the ultimate rally in the country so no, absolutely my favourite. Just to say it's all down to dad to keep the car going because a lot of the time in this event it's the cars that are breaking down that's the issue so dad being the engineer and mechanic on the car it helps a lot. It's been a dream since I was an 11 year old lad watching the RAC rally come through Sutton Park. That's what got me going in motorsport and to win this now is the pinnacle I think.